and welcome back to another wig review. This is Raquel Welch Pretty Please in Shaded Biscuit. Okay, let's have a look at this cap first of all. So as you can see, this is completely 100% hand-tied wig. This is like the Rolls Royce of all the wig caps. Uh, it has the adjustable Velcro straps, velvet ear tabs, beautiful lace front, and a full monofilament, which means you can part it on whichever side you like. Okay, so pretty please, this is straight from the box. I've just put it on and that's how it looks. I would say this is some um, shoulder length hairstyle. It is layered with like uh, wispy ends. They look a bit tapered and as you can see, it flicks here on your shoulders, which I think is very pretty. I also like the shorter layers around my face. Can you see how that hugs your face? It actually looks very much like a haircut that I used to have years ago. Maybe it was a tiny bit shorter, but I used to have my hair layered like this and uh, shaped around my face. Now I, my hair is mostly one length. The front, the front maybe is a bit shorter in places, but I have no layers. It's all one length. So yeah, this is um, this reminds me of of a haircut that I used to have for a very very long time. Of course, this is in my favorite color, Shaded Biscuit. Do you know what I've noticed? The same with On Point, which I love, you know, that beautiful angled bob. I feel like this Shaded Biscuit in the last two shades, uh, last two wigs, it's not as bright. Um, and I don't know if it is because they are straight and the color looks a bit de different because most of my shaded biscuits are curly and you can sort of uh, see the colors be more defined or if they change something about it. I feel like it never has as much blonde here on, you know, by the hairline and it just, I don't know, it feels like it's not as bright. It's still beautiful color but it feels like it has more of this pale sandy blonde than this this white color that I really love, which is the 22, I think, 23. So yeah, I'm not sure. Somehow it feels not as bright as my older shaded biscuits. I need to investigate that. Okay, so let me show her to you from all the sides. My trees in the way. So I think it is a bit longer at the back than the front. Do you know what this wig reminds me of? And I brought the other one here. It reminds me very much of Spotlight by Raquel Welch. It's like a shorter version of Spotlight. I love Spotlight, but if I wear it, I wear it mostly up because the back is much longer. So here is Spotlight. They also, this one's got, um, just the standard wefted cap, but they also do Spotlight Elite, which has a hand 100% ha hand tight. Um, I don't know, can you see at the root? It's a bit bright. I don't know if they've made the root darker. I'm going to put this one on in a minute, but let's just talk about this one for a second. To me, this looks a bit cone like here. <laughs> But that could be because of the way it was in a box. Uh, but, you know, I would rather have a bigger bump here 
at the back otherwise all the hair sort of falls forward and you don't get that bump at the back um, I'm not sure I like that but that is probably you could play with it and and maybe rearrange it a bit um, this wig was sent to me by Mima Wigs they also sent me this Peace Out Contour Fiber Cream which is supposed to be very good to rearrange your style I've never tried it it's like a hair wax I suppose so you take it in your hands not too much and you run it through the hair I suppose it's really good for um, short wigs you can piece them out yeah but that's I didn't take too much but I think this is a good product yeah so this wig is parted on the left as usual I couldn't I can't get it parted on the right because I think that swoop that I have, maybe I could actually. Oh, I think I actually prefer it. Now, you know this sort of bigger cone that you had here is balanced. So I think, let me take that cream. Of course, this is heat resistant fiber. So again, uh, you can use your heat tools to restyle it a bit you know like I did with the um, on point like I always tell you put it on and play with it as if it was your own hair yeah this cream is quite good to restyle the hair yeah I think I prefer it on that side what do you think Yes, now this is balanced. You know, before I felt like this side was a bit flat and all the hair was on this side. So, yeah. Can you see how you can easily change um, the style of it? Oh gosh, 100% better. So yeah, another really, really easy style. Nothing to do to it. You know, you don't have to, mind you, most of um, Raquel's wigs are like that. The lace front is beautiful as usual. Oh, I like this contour cream. It's so, so helpful with doing this. Yeah, I definitely like it on, on this side. Again, very good wig to maybe, you know, just clip with one of these. You let the sides down. I can't see what I've done there at the back. So let me just put on the spotlight on. Uh, you will see how similar the front is. I think it's almost identical from what I remember. It's just that the back is much longer and at the time I remember even saying that I might cut the back of, of spotlight so it was a bit shorter because as much as I love long hair I don't feel like it suits me that much. Um, if I have long hair wigs I usually wear them up. Okay so this is spotlight. Can you see how similar it is? You have the same layers at the front. The front is not as long but it's tiny bit longer than on a pretty please but look at the back the back is much longer on this one but don't you think that that um, pretty please is like shorter sister to spotlight I really really feel they are so similar can you see now don't you think that this one looks brighter um, than the pretty please I don't feel like the roots well maybe they are the same I just think that this one has more of that blonde at the front that Raquel Welch does whereas this one and on point have much less of that blonde near the hairline so they definitely changed something with this color 
So, like I said, I need to investigate that. I might contact the hair you wear. I mean, when you put them together like this, they don't seem to look any different. But when I have them on, I, I sort of see the difference. I don't know, maybe it's just my imagination. Let me know how you see it on your screens. Okay, it's really hard to tell. You know, however much I compare them, put them next to each other, they seem to look the same. But when I put it on, somehow I feel the other one is brighter. And I wonder if it's simply the fact that there is not as much bright, can you see, around my um, hairline. There is just like a very thin, small amount of blonde. Also, doesn't it? look a bit like the old Rachel from Friends hairstyle. I feel like this is a bit um, similar to the style that Rachel from Friends had. Very, very pretty, very natural. Of course, because it is hand tied, you're going to have this really lovely natural movement because you know with 100% hand tight wigs each uh, strand of hair is sewn in individually into that um, into the lace whereas wefted caps they are like wefts sewn in into the cap it's got temple to temple um, lace front as well so it's really really wide you know sometimes lace fronts are only that wide but this one is from here to here so it's very very nice long which means that when you if you wanted your hair off the face like this you've got lace all the way down here nice coverage here on the temples i think that's why i always find like i have too much hair here because you know my own hair is quite um fine and i have what i call mickey mouse forehead so my hairline goes like this so i don't have much hair here because my hairline goes right there whereas with wigs i have all this hair at the front which i'm not used to yeah, I really, really like it. It's just definitely like the shorter sister of, of Spotlight. Do you know what? I've had this wig for, I don't know, three, four years now, Spotlight. And any time I talk about this wig, even if I talked about it five minutes ago, I can't remember the name of it. I don't know what it is about this name, but I can never, ever remember Spotlight. So if you've had Spotlight or you were thinking of spotlight but you thought well it's a bit too long this is so similar and perfect and also because it's a bit shorter it'd be easier to look after remember the longer the wig with the heat resistant fibers the more you have to look after them always if you're wearing it all day have a, a white tooth comb and now and again just brush through the end so you don't give the fibers the chance to clamp together not that they, you know, really, really clump together, but over the time with the friction on your neck, on your clothes, um, it can, you know, get a bit, I would call it sticky and clumpy. I don't know how to explain. But I still would always choose the heat resistant wig because, you know, like I did with, uh, with the on point, I made that swoop with my... Um, curling iron uh, you can use a bit of heat on it and also it just feels like real hair it's not very shiny it just looks like real real hair wig you know human hair wig okay my lovelies let me know what you think of this one i think i actually had a request to review this wig and again you know i look at the wigs all the time and i've missed this one I don't remember ever seeing or hearing about this style. So uh, thank you to me, my wigs, to sending it from me to me for a review. I will leave you the link down below. I also have a discount code. Um, you get discount on any wig you choose from there. 
I'm sorry but I can't remember if it's 10%, 15%, 20% or 30%. <laughs> I really can't remember what the discount is. Uh, but when you buy in, if you enter it at checkout, it will, it will tell you. Okay, so this was Pretty Please in Shaded Biscuit from Raquel Welch. Let me know what you think of this one. I think it's a really, really natural, natural wig. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.